So I was working on my Craftsman toolbox and the uh, lock cylinder, the key had broken off inside. So I removed the lock, the lock cylinder and I was able to beat the key out. The problem was is that I accidentally, when I closed the drawers, the box locked itself. So I looked online and they said, oh, flip it upside down. So I had a friend come over, help me take the upper cases off. We flipped it, still not working. So what I decided to do is to go and find the locking tracks in the back of the toolbox. And if you look for the rivets, you'll see that the locking track is here. I roughly guesstimated where the bottom of the shelf was, or I'm sorry, the drawer was, and I did the same thing over here. The way I cut the holes is I drilled four holes and then I took a Dremel with these uh, pretty cool cutting bits. Fortunately, I had these in a different toolbox. If they're missing, I would have been completely screwed. And then I went ahead and I, uh, I cut the pieces out and then inside, you'll kind of see, and it's hard to show in the video here, but there's a, there's a little, uh, there's like a, you look in here and you'll see where the little tab goes up. So when you turn the lock, it actually raises two bars that run vertically down both sides of the box and it puts these little U-channels in. Uh, these little U-clips kind of grab the back of the drawer and that's what keeps them coming out. So it worked, I now have the box open. I can go ahead and replace the lock cylinder. Don't flip your box upside down because now I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning up. 